Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of The Switch It Up Show. My name is Glenn and I will be your host, but just like Zelda, it is dangerous to go alone, so I have taken Mr. Seth Trav. What's up, buddy? How are you, my guy? I'm doing all right. While I don't have a sword for you, I've got Oof. many things uh, that I can share from the great games that we have reviewed today. Ooh, the great games, you say. You're setting the bar high, a little risky. Some might say a gamble. And Ooh. gambling is just what we're going to do on the first review right here with me and you on the Switch It Up show, but right after we listen to these sweet beats. Monoguchi, ladies and gentlemen, providers of said sweet beats that I referred to earlier. Make sure you check out all their awesome links in the show notes. Now let's get right down to brass tacks with Poker Pretty Girls Battle Fantasy World Edition. It is on sale right now on the Nintendo eShop for $4.79. Uh, this game came out on May the 6th. 6th? That's Sixth. how you say that. You gotta, you gotta hit the TH uh, from our great friends over at East Asia Soft. It is rated teen uh, for simulated gambling and suggestive themes. Let me go ahead and read you the rather lengthy synopsis. Try your hand at some hot rounds of poker against a bevy of fantasy themed females. Classic Texas Hold'em gets a magical twist at the Fantasy World Casino where you are invited to play at, t- at tables against 16 pretty girls from elves and demons to sorceresses and more. Each female opponent has her own look and unique style of play along with Japanese voiceovers to let you feel their excitement as the intense poker battles. Start out against four of these gorgeous players and unlock more as you prove your skills worthy of new challengers. There are two game modes to choose from. In pretty mode, you'll collect rewards as you defeat random opponents, while in free play mode you can customize the experience by choosing which of the unlocked girls will join your table. With so many characters to meet, plus traditional mechanics that are fun and familiar, this is a fantasy experience that you can revisit time and time again. It features engaging poker battles using popular Texas Hold'em rules, meet and unlock 16 fantasy themed pretty girls, discover multiple play modes, there's two, strategize and based on your opponent its personalities and enjoy enticing voiceovers with outfits unique to each girl. Now I feel like we see this theme time and time again. There are a bunch of these reveal the picture type games on the eShop where there is a picture of a girl and then you have to, you know, do some type of task in order to reveal more squares of it. On the scale of the risque, this game is rated teen, so it's not nearly as wild as some of the other ones. Uh although We've played more mature sure titles yeah for sure yeah uh, although i mean this is like this is like more like if you if you thought of like what traditional like mmo female armor would look like it's like one step like more aggressive than that <laughs> so, even tinier chain mail bikinis i don't know if there's a <laughs> chain mail in this one but Eva? i'm trying to set the stage for you it's not maybe as wild as some of the m-rated games but like you know it's it's definitely still like you're like uh uh-uh. it's maxim magazine it wasn't as in like when you read the synopsis it wasn't as intense as i thought it was gonna be but make no mistake you know this is uh <laughs> the team the rating is maybe stretching it a little bit but basically you know you are playing poker you're playing four-handed texas hold'em against these girls and then you have to beat you have to beat all of them um basically what happens is you pick a girl who you're like you know whose puzzle you want to reveal and then you sit down at a table with her and two other girls who you could also pick again at a later time and then you know you just progress uh in like the playing of texas hold'em and the next episode is going to be uh another poker episode uh, and then there'll be another gambling episode after that so we're in the gambling theme over here on the switch it up show uh but what's interesting about this one is that the actual playing of the poker in this i feel like is is pretty good the way in which they present it to you you know they mark everything out clearly you can see who you know who has to be which blind whether it's small blind big blind there's a dealer button so you know the order of the play as it proceeds around the table they show you the pot they show you how much is in the pot they tell you how much you need to make to call these sound like all like bare minimum type things and they are uh but 
sometimes like you know even like a simple task like like a gambling game like a poker like isn't really presented in like the most straightforward way and you wouldn't think that poker pretty girls battle fantasy world edition would be able to handle the presentation of of the game but like after playing one of the other games that we'll talk about on another episode i i was kind of like I was kind of like impressed with like the way and the way in which the game flowed. Um, it moves quick. Uh, what's weak is that you can't really like you're in it for no matter what. So if you're playing this and you know you fold before the hands over, you're sitting there for it to complete, which isn't bad because they move quickly. But like there's no skip. You you have to let everything play out. So that's a little that's a little rough. I, I would like that. You know, if I'm not involved in the hand, I could kind of just simulate the rest of it and have it be done. Uh, I also noticed that like you were always seated across from whoever you're trying to like reveal uh, the picture of, which makes sense, I guess. You know, they want you to like you know be right across from them. I don't know. Maybe it's like you know one on one, even though it's you against three other people. Kind of what happens is like if you make a bet. Uh, depending on like how big it is like if you go all in you throw in all your chips nine times out of ten the other two people who are in the game are going to fold immediately they will not call like any large bets i don't know what it is they very rarely call um and they when they call they call with like whatever um which is i mean fine uh but like it's just it's just insane there is no like logic of like why they might have called or anything like that or like they don't raise you really it's just they'll pretty much mimic what you do and if you like if you push if you make a big enough bet those two will almost always fold and in fact the person you're playing against to reveal the picture will likely fold they don't really call that much and because of that it gets drug out and the fact that you can't really skip anything that you're not involved in makes it even worse and even if you beat your opponent the person you're trying to reveal the picture of you beat her first hand let's say you go because i was trying to see what would happen if i went all in and i and i beat whoever i was playing um you still have to beat the other two people so it's not like you're just beating that person you have to beat everybody so there, there are aspects of this like the order of play and the way in which the game goes is good but it can get drawn out and it doesn't seem like people like these bots are just like they're just doing whatever there's no rhyme or reason to it uh, so that's kind of it's it's weird it's a weird game but I mean what do you expect you're playing poker pretty girls battle fantasy world poker. edition <laughs> like I mean I want to give it a five for the title like because it's because it's obs- <laughs> it's just insane um, but it's four dollars and not in 79 cents you could definitely play a better poker game on the eShop I haven't played no- <laughs> another one yet um, it is the type of game you're into you might have fun with it you have to like I guess this is like a game like a puzzle picture revealing game that happens to be themed around poker don't you're not you're probably not playing this for the poker but if you're playing this for the picture if you're playing this for the pictures and stuff i don't think it's at the level that you want it to be to play it for the picture. so like i don't think anybody's gonna be happy playing i don't think everyone's gonna be happy playing this game <laughs> um <laughs> so it's gonna be rough this is a two out of five. Oh, two out of five yeah man i mean this is what you need Maybe, maybe maybe we'll bump it to two point five because, like I said, the control the controls are pretty good. Like if, if you could like skip past like the dull parts of the game, like, I mean, you'll still... those NPCs sound terrible. Though. Yeah, you'll you'll go and, like you're barely I mean, even playing a game. You you are barely playing a game. You're like it's almost like you're flipping a coin. Oh my God, <laughs> my God. Well, speaking of flipping a coin, maybe you should flip a coin to make some decisions in the next game we're reviewing called Trails and Traces, The Tomb of Thomas II. It's $4.99 and it's 25 gold coins when you purchase it digitally on the eShop. For the purposes of this review, however, I played the game on the PS5. A classic point and click adventure game full of puzzles and humor. It's 1695. Two and his fellow pirates pursued a Mughal ship. His ship, the Amity, attacked the ship, the Fateh Muhammad. Two was disemboweled by a cannon shot and died instantly. Or did he? The present day, Detective James Labette takes a missing persons case, which unexpectedly leads to an adventure of discovering the truth of what happened to the pirate Thomas II. But he isn't the only one who has an interest. Dot, dot, dot. Use your sleuthing skills and any means necessary to uncover the information. It features point-and-click adventure inspired by the classics. Megaphone tap unsuspecting people for clues and fun. Original soundtrack and jukebox mode. An extra dose of humor. It's from our good, good friends over at Retaliaka Games and the people at Because Because Games. Ladies and gentlemen, 
we talk a lot about choose your own adventures here on the switch it up show we talk a lot about point and click adventures and one of the main gripes that both our friend glenn and i have is that these games rarely ever have any voice acting i think that the reason for that is because one budgetarily you've got to read a lot and i'm sure it gets a little expensive once you start having people read legitimate books too I would assume that you just want to imagine someone's voice. Why would you take yourself out of that when you want to let yourself enjoy the the mystery and, and the imaginative experience of reading? All of that said, this game actually finally gives us some vocal acting throughout our point and click adventure. Everything that is being read or you could read just about is being read by a voice actor. The problem with that and with this I've found is that while they do give you voice actors or a voice actor, I think there are only two in the entire game and every voice is being done by two guys. If that Uh, (laughs) it, it, it's difficult. It's very difficult with, with that level of extend your vocal range beyond your own capabilities which i think this game suffered from i don't think whoever was doing the main voices for this was necessarily a voice actor but the attempt was made and it was some decent attempts i think i could and have done better range of voices watch our youtube let me know (laughs) But aside from that, aside from the fact that they are doing the voices and it's good and and it's a little difficult to tell the difference between them sometimes because, you know, it's probably only one guy doing all the voices. The actual audio quality of the voices is really, really not that good. I thought that it maybe was just because I had the 3D audio headphones on. That wasn't the case. That didn't that isn't what was causing it. It sounds like there's a weird echoey tin can sort of filter on there. And it's a shame because I was like, wow, they finally put vocal acting in here and in some of these games that we love to play through. And unfortunately, it it sort of misses the mark all over for for the vocal acting. I I almost feel like it would have been better if they didn't put any vocal acting in there or maybe just kept it with the standard. "Hmm? Oh, hey, hmm. Oh, you know, like that kind of nonsense. That would be. That would have been a lot better experience, at least for me, I think. Uh, Overall, though, the game was interesting. Uh, Storyline wise, it's not necessarily confusing, but it's interesting enough and easy enough that you're going to want to keep going forward because at least for me, it didn't take me too long to figure out a lot of these different clues and a lot of these different puzzles and a lot of the different places that you had to go to to sort of unravel the mysteries of why this guy is missing and inevitably the trail of Thomas too. It was fun. It it was definitely fun. But again, I think it falls short at a lot of points. Because of all of that, though, I am going to give this game a three out of five. Mediocre games here on the Switch It Up show this week, Mr. Trav. They're okay. I think that Mm. they tried some things. Like, I never would have expected a smut game wrapped up in poker. At least one that wasn't using, you know, nudie cards. Like, that would have been the best way to do something like this, I think, in, in your case. Just have you unlock different nudie decks. And mine, don't record into a tin can. <laughs> or maybe get somebody else to try to help you out. I don't know. Aww. I definitely, you know, I'm, I'm glad they tried. I'm the, definitely glad they tried. Hey, man, you know, to each their own. There is a game out there for each and every one of you. And that, of course, ladies and gentlemen, is the most beautiful thing about this show. If things ever get boring, you can always switch it up. Switch it up.